South Korea's climate legislation does not adequately protect basic human rights. That's the unanimous ruling by the Constitutional Court, which has called on the government to do more to curb greenhouse gas emissions, specifically to expand its carbon reduction plans beyond the year 2030. Young activists have welcomed the verdict, saying this is just the beginning. I hope this ruling will bring about greater changes so children like me won't have to file constitutional complaints in the future. The climate crisis is not a future problem, but a reality that everyone is facing right now. South Koreans, like much of the world, have experienced unseasonal weather patterns recently. Summers marked by powerful storms and a series of record hot nights worsening quality of life and driving up food prices. The crux of the lawsuit is that the government's commitment to cut carbon emissions by 290 million tons by 2030 simply is not enough. They also accuse the government of not prioritizing climate policies, pointing to its heavy reliance on fossil fuels. Environmentalists say it's time for a change. The ruling confirms that climate change is a fundamental rights issue and that everyone has the right to be safe from its impact. Whether this right is upheld depends on the actions we take from now on. The Environment Ministry has promised to implement follow-up measures. The government will need to work with the National Assembly to draft updated legislation before the court's deadline of February 2026. This case follows a verdict handed down in Switzerland in April. The European Court of Human Rights ruled in favor of 2,000 elderly women who'd argued the government wasn't doing enough to protect them from heat waves and other extreme weather events. I would be so sad if my children never experienced a beautiful spring day. If we can't prevent it, even if I'm sad, I think it's necessary to cherish and live each day. With a legal mandate in hand, the young activists and their parents have pledged to keep up the pressure on authorities to ensure difficult decisions are made in order to protect the world they'll inherit. Eunice Kim, Al Jazeera, Seoul. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.